Hello everyone and welcome to Whimsy Creek Art. Alright, today's video is a bloom. It's technically my first real bloom with all the added ingredients and everything. And so for this video, the colors I used are listed in the description. And then my very next video will be the recipe I used. And so I did use the US Floetrol and then I got a few little additives. You can kind of see them in the upper right hand corner kind of peeking. But my next video will be kind of the recipe I used. But I have been experimenting with adding all kinds of different additives and kind of different ratios of those additives. But I do think I've got it down pretty well and it dries beautifully as well. No cracks or anything. But now I just got to get this actually blowing with your mouth down. I'm so used to blowing with aquarium tubing. But the blooms do work better with blowing with your mouth. But it is a whole new different kind of thing for me. So I'm learning how to do that. But practice makes perfect. So I am just layering. I put a what they call a pillow paint or a base of white down. Now I am just layering my colors. And then this white is what they call the cell activator and so I do not put any silicone I have some different additives than silicone a little bit different than most of my paint pours and so now I'm just blowing kind of a bloom kind of a modified bloom I don't know and I'm just blowing that cell activator with my mouth up and over those colors so I do get quite a few beautiful cells but I continue to kind of mess with it what this would honestly be best is if I would have um, put it on a cake spinner or a lazy Susan and spin it out a little bit but that video is actually coming and um, about two or three videos from now I will have my DIY uh, spinner set up and so I've already just actually filmed that video video just a few minutes ago so that one's coming up in a two or three videos but uh, you don't have to have a spinner for these blooms but I have noticed that um, I do like the look of them uh, once they are spun out so I continue to mess with this. I continue to add a little bit more paint, a little bit more cell activator. I don't know, maybe I should have left it alone at one point, but I just learning a new technique. So just kind of continued messing with it. But um, my next video, probably tomorrow, will be the recipe for the pillow paint, the colors, and the cell activator. So right here, I went to try to use my aquarium tubing as I usually use. That did not work that well. I do not suggest using an aquarium tubing. It does, these blooms do work best with just blowing with your mouth. So here's a close up. Wow, the cells in this one and it did dry perfectly. No cracks, nothing. It dried really beautifully and it dried really quite quick. Um, a lot quicker than my regular pores. So all right, thank you so much for watching and please let me know if you have any questions. Yeah. 